close to your totals for catches and yards as you were last season. Right. When you look back at that, can you explain why it was such a drop from 16 to 17? Um, I don't know, man. It was last year was bad. Um, that was one of my worst years, just um, mentally as well, trying to keep it together, just because of that. And uh, that's probably been the biggest change for me this year. And um, I owe a lot of that to Sanjay and and the mentality that he's brought into that room. You know, you get satisfaction out of winning your routes, whether the ball comes or not. So, um, you know, that's that's probably been the biggest change for me this season more than anything. How different is the route running? Is it different this year than it was in years past? Um, definitely have a, l a few more tools, you know, that he's kind of brought to the table and brought to my game. Um, other than that, you know, it's, it's just playing fast and um, having that mentality to, to always win, regardless of if you think the ball's coming your way or not. Um, and like I said, just getting satisfaction out of creating separation, regardless. How much was the early offensive struggles partly to blame on so, so many new guys in the offense? And uh, not being on the same, I mean, was that is that real? I think, uh, for sure, that's definitely a big role, um, you know. In camp, you know, you think you have enough time in camp to figure that out, but you know, when you think about it, you're going against the same defense over and over um, from week to week. Now that we're seeing different defenses every week and have to find new things to do, you know, you got to know, um, you know, what your guys do well and how to utilize that to to go against that particular defense. So um, it definitely takes some time, and that's definitely been part of it. You know, I'm not going to make any excuses or anything because that's that's our job to figure that stuff out and, and make plays regardless. So, um, but I definitely think it has a little bit of an, um, an effect. You mentioned this Sunday night that to play receiver, you know, a lot of other stuff has to go right for you to do your job well. Right. Um, what, and you talk about Sanjay. What's the what's the hardest part about taking satisfaction and winning? And, and you know what you're talking about the changes that he's brought. Like, what's the hardest part about that translating? Um, you know, as a wideout, you you want the rock. You know what I mean? I mean, it's all of us have came from places where you know you're getting the ball constantly, or we wouldn't be here. You know, um, we've been able to showcase our skills and, and do that. And um, you know, it's. It gets hard sometimes when you don't when you don't feel the ball every now and then, and it's it's harder to, to keep a rhythm and and uh, but like I said, that's that's our jobs to do that, and uh, whether it's one target or five, you know we got to come through. Well, I get the reason I'm asking is you know you talk about what Sanjay brings. Is it him showing you what you're doing well on tape, or like what makes it easier for you to deal with? Yeah, that I mean if I guess. if I mean just really. You know, it's the guy that's going against you, and whether you're getting the ball or not, you can um, you can kind of tear down his will by just beating him over and over again. So regardless if you're getting the ball or not, what what can he say if you're you know constantly getting open on him and creating separation? It's almost I mean he just feels like he's getting lucky at that point. You know what I mean? So and then when that time does come that you do get the ball, his will's broken. You know, and and his mind's already out of it before you. You know, he, his play even came up to, to defend you. So that's where it helps more than anything. Along those lines, Jacksonville had to adjust how they were playing and send that linebacker after you. I mean, there's been so much talk here about having a number one receiver. Mm -hmm. If defenses are having to put two people on you, I mean, are you a number one receiver in a way in this offense? Um, I, don't, I don't know. Just number one receivers is just who gets the most targets and, you know, who gets the ball. Other than that, I mean, everybody has their their prototypical idea of, of a number one receiver, but really it's different based on offense and what kind of system you're in. I mean, Welker was the number one receiver for New England forever, and Edelman, and um, you know guys like that. So you know, he doesn't have to be six four and you know win on fade balls and go over the top of everybody all the time. Um, number one can be how your offense chooses to to use a guy, and you know depending on um, what kind of skill set he has. I'm understanding it's a business trip first, but Monday you guys are going to the museum afterwards. So how much are you looking forward to that? And you guys have done the NASA, you've done the SEAL stuff, you went to the 9-11 memorial. What does Jason try and get out of that stuff, you think, for um, you guys? I don't, you guys I, don't, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's going to be a pretty sweet deal to go to, but I don't know much about it other than that. Um, we'll worry about that after the game. Our main focus is going in there and getting a W. If we get an L, it's going to suck to go there. Yeah. Uh, well, Norman's 
he's he's really good about going after the ball. Uh, he's a ball guy for sure. Um, anytime he's around, you you have to take extra special care of it, um, like you're holding the team in your hand. So, because um, he's one of those guys, whether it's a a ball in the air to go intercept it or you're just carrying it, and he's going to try to punch it out. I mean, he'll do he'll sacrifice the tackle to go get the ball um, every time. And, that's something you got to be aware of and, and something you got to take mind of out there while you're carrying it. What does a successful line game do for you in the passing game? Well, anytime linebackers and, and all those guys have to worry about the run, I mean, it only helps. You know, then you can run so much stuff off of that to, um, to kind of open up the middle, and, you know, that's huge for us. Does anything change for you after coming off such a big game heading into the next week, knowing that you may have more guys on you or that they're going to be focusing probably for the most part in the beginning on you? Uh, no, I can't control what they do. Uh, all I can do is, you know, be ready to make plays when I'm called upon, and um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run routes fast regardless, and I can't get into a game to where I'm thinking too much or else I won't play as well. I've, I've gotten into that before um, after the 16 season. I think the beginning of last season, um, that kind of messed with me mentally, mentally a little bit. So um, that's one thing that I got to focus on and keeping myself straight is not worrying about what the defense does and just running routes to win regardless. And then Dak will I'll throw it where he needs to. Well, how has the relationship between you and Dak on the field improved over the years? I think our relationship has always been good, um, regardless if it's if I play bad or he plays bad or whatever may, the, may be the case. I mean, we, we know what each other can do and we have faith in each other regardless. Um, when it comes down to it, if I got one-on-one, -on -one, I know he's expecting me to win. And if I got one-on-one -on -one and it's tight coverage, I'm expecting him to make, make the throw to throw me open. I mean, he's capable of doing that, and he knows I'm capable of getting open. So um, we have a great relationship regardless. And if I lose on a route, um, you know, he still has the same faith in me. Nothing goes away. And if he throws one bad, I still have the same faith in him. So. Uh, that's what you need with all your guys, and, and trust is key uh, in, in this offense. Um, you know, it's next man up. Somebody's got to take over that role, and uh, we have guys that are that are looking forward to the challenge and looking forward to getting more snaps. And uh, we have a hungry group in in our wideout room. So um, any extra plays for any one guy is they're pumped to take on that role. And I mean, we're sorry that. Um, that he got injured because you know it's a big one for us and, and we love the guy but um, you know we can't really focus on those things we just got to move on to the next one and keep going. Gallup made a big play early to kind of loosen things up down mm -hmm. the field. What kind of growth are you seeing from him a few weeks in? Yeah, Gallup's he's a really good player and um, when he's playing aggressive and, and we get him to where he's not thinking as much, um, he's exceptional. So that's the main thing. You know, when, when you're a rookie and and kind of coming in and you're unsure about some things, you know, it's harder to play fast, but. Um, he's done a good job of coming in and doing some, putting in the extra time so that when it comes to Sunday, he can play fast and he, he's starting to show, you know, what he can be. Zeke and Zach both talked about the, the need for improved communication now that you guys are going back out right. on the road. How do you guys go about doing that? Yeah, that's that's the main thing for, for on the road. We, we haven't, you know, done as well as we wanted to uh, when it comes to communication, whether it's the crowd or whatever that may be. But... Um, you know, that's, that's definitely a focal point for us in the meeting rooms. And we're going to spend some extra, to extra time making sure that um, we go over all the checks and everything that we need to know to be on the same page. Because if we're not on the same page, everything's going to break down. Barry Church said before the game that he was most excited to face you of all his ex-teammates and he'd be the biggest challenge. You went that, right? Did you have a chance to talk to him after the game? Uh, I talked to him before and after. Barry's always been a good friend of mine. And, um, you know, we, we miss him over here. But... Uh, I'm glad we could kind of make it rough for him, <laughs> for him going out. I um, always want him to have success on and off the field, but except when they play us. Any talking on the field between you two when you get a move on him? No, I didn't, I didn't talk any trash. You know, Barry's my guy. He's not a trash talker out there. And really, I don't, I mean, if you don't talk trash to me, I'm not going to say anything to you. I just play. Um, but there were a lot of guys that were pretty chippy on, on the other side of the ball, so it kind of brought the, uh, the trash talking out of me a little bit. But. Really, if, if they don't say anything, I don't say anything either. And Barry's that type of guy, so there's no need. He's just going to play, and that's what I'll do. Being able to break out like you did, going 100-plus, what does that do residually for the offense moving forward? Um, I don't know. I guess time will tell. We have to see. Um, it really doesn't change anything for me or, or 
I don't think any of the other receivers. I mean, we're still going out to prove what we can do and um, just go out there and create separation. Whether, like I said, whether the ball comes to us nine times or three times, you know, we got to come through when when we're called upon to make those plays. The offense got it going, you know, so much more than 200 yards rushing. In terms of trying to duplicate what you guys were able to do, have you guys identified keys to try and get that execution level back to where it was Sunday? Well, it's going to be different, you know, with every defense that's different. So um, we want to duplicate that, but it may not be the exact same, and it may not be the same way that we that we do it. But I mean, anytime you can get those numbers, you want to. Um, that's always what you strive for. But um, there's no way to predict what we're going to do stat-wise. And I mean, all we care about is is you know, going out there and playing our ball and, and taking care of the football and putting up points no matter how we got to do it.